Hey everybody and welcome back to Crip Monkey Paints where tonight we're actually just painting so that's super weird for me right now because <laughs> we've had been having so much fun with world building um but we will be doing that tomorrow here at six o'clock six o'clock yep. central time stuff yay <laughs> but tonight we are painting this beauty from Lord of the Print which you can find him on Patreon you can find him on um my mini factory. I can share I, both of those later too. Yes. <clears throat> we'll put those links in the in chat in a few minutes. I absolutely love his prints. They print out so awesome. And he was so sweet to put the little crabs that is on the, well, the crab that's on the rock in the picture on the right hand side um, is a separate print. So I printed it tiny and I printed out a bunch of times so that I have like little crabs that I can spread around. So, cause they're super cute. But anyway, I have base coated this guy in pink because I want to paint him like a um, albino uh, oxalotl. And then I, and yeah, it's like bubblegum pink, man. And then I base coated the rocks in, or his base, which is rocks, uh, in just brown. And then I didn't bother base coating the crabbies. I just put them on a stick. A uh, little little blue tack underneath them to hold them on there. So they're on there, but they'll pop off fairly easily as well. Crab on a stick, huh? Crab on a stick. Four crabs on a stick. Um, but basically, I want to do like the plating on his head, and it comes down his back in kind of a like steel, and then everything else is gonna make him make him look like an albino. Which is going to take a lot of dry brushing of white and other colors. So I'm going to start with that because I hate, I used to do this all the time where I would do a whole bunch of details and then I would dry brush and then I would lose all of those details. So, so I want this to be a different color. I guess I could base coat that, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to start dry brushing the white so that I can kind of move on to those details and not have to worry about the dry brushing. Oh, and just in case you can hear in the background the whizzing around that is uh ty's filament printer that he is currently playing with and you can see his first large successful print and this is a uh, pan's labyrinth this is the entrance to the labyrinth so you can see in the back the back is really well detailed as well um the bottom it printed from here but you can see in maybe if you get it at the right angle there you can see in here that it actually has grooves for where the the stones kind of come up and around oh you can see it really well right there mm -hmm. so they've got vines over here and on the front as well and then you know, those big creepy eyes i love it so he will be watching us paint all night <laughs> right there for us yay ah and I put in the Discord channel, I added some options for Alter the Stream, which a couple of them are like Lord of the Print. That's the new stuff from Lord of the Print that I added in there. So that should be pretty cool. That is a little bit much, but it's just the first coat, so it'll be fine. Kind of spent a long time staring at at the oxalotls the albino ones excuse me i had a soda so now i feel like i need to burp spent like a long time staring and staring and staring trying to identify the color kind of that needs to happen to make it look albino and it's more of a peach than a than a white so that's why i kind of wanted this is just not working i think we're going to change tactics here Um, it's more of a peach color than an actual white. So that's why I wanted to start off with a, a nice pink base. So this is not exactly dry brushing. This is pretty wet dry brush, but it's a much thinner white. And if we don't have, like how that looks, then we'll change tactics again. 
I have to always remind myself, this is just the first coat. Don't worry so much. But honestly, I didn't mind having to stare at a bunch of different pictures of oxalotls anyway, because they're super cute. Mm -hmm. This is Vallejo's White Primer is what I'm using right now. I, I did have the Citadel Layer White Scar, but it just wasn't dry brushing yet the way I want it to. Pretty sure my next layer layer of white is going to be the Brain Matter Beige. And what I'll probably do is add in a little bit of I've got a heartwood brown, kind of looks like a beige. Probably add that into it as well to kind of give it that peachy kind of sheen color sort of thing. And then even on the little whisker thingies that they have over here, I got that in white, but what I'll probably end up doing, I mean pink, white, just because I'm messing with white. What I'll probably end up doing is dry brushing that with the the red that I have over here for my crabs you can see where I had kind of taped stuck him down so that I could base coat him real quick <laughs> but that really won't be showing and it's okay if he has a very white belly it's realistically the way he hugs the rock you really won't see his belly at all I don't know about you guys, but we had ice storm and snow and all this other random crap fall on us this last week. And the last two days, we have had our windows open because it has been so nice outside. Yep. And then today, we had our windows open all day long, and it got quite warm in the house. So we currently have our air conditioner running. How much sense does that make? Did you put a message in gamers chat as well, please? Okay. I promised Sunbrand I would remind her there. Gotcha. Unless she's dozed off. Because sometimes she has really hard days on Mondays and Tuesdays. Kind of, she kind of gets slammed on those days. So she may already be passed out. But that's okay. Well, Regina says the warm weather is a nice change. Hi, Regina. How cute are these little crabs? Are they not like adorable? And I, I went from this one is, I know this one is a hundred percent in scale with this guy. Then this one is down a little bit, and then I bumped up. I think by ten percent. No, it was regular down ten percent, up ten percent, and then up fifty percent. So I would kind of have a a little randomness of scale on those. Yeah. I, I like the fact that they were also completely separate, so I could print them in whatever scale I wanted to. Now, that being said, this is actually printed larger than what he's supposed to be. Uh, I think I doubled the size on this, but I always try to go a little bit bigger when I print for painting, just so it's easier for you guys to see. want to lose all of the pink but I don't want it to be like bubblegum pink anymore either okay my elbow is like oh, funky so I gotta pop my elbow okay. I'm 
and I think just about ready to switch over to the the other beigey color. Although I am gonna have to pop him off of here because I really can't reach his belly. Literally just took him outside and sprayed him with uh, spray paint to get a nice little pink coat on him. It's funny because like his little wrinkles right in here remind me of our bearded dragon. He has that same little wrinkle when he curls over like that. She. She. Yes, I'm talking about you, my Georgie Porgy. <laughs> she is currently zonking. Oh! Regina's <laughs> Continker's Flora. Is that not yeah. awesome? Yeah, we've got some really fun, <clears throat> uh, really fun releases coming out this month. The <clears throat> excuse me, good grief, I'm sorry. I keep clearing my throat. Shame. I know, right? You guys love me. I know you forgive me. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. Hello, Golden Ghosty. Hi, Golden. <clears throat> they have uh. So Mini Monster Mayhem is like complete forest stuff again, you know, and it, it's really a lot of fun. And then Dragon Trappers <coughs> went completely <coughs> Western. Hi, Tech Priest. Hello, Tech Priest. Completely Western, uh, including giving us a big giant tarantula with a house on its back. You know, and I don't know how many of you... But they're all, the re, you know, if you're like me, you've got the whole, you know, Wild Wild West movie playing through your head now. <laughs> um, but uh, it, let's see, so they went Wild Wild West. And there's even like a, a cactus monster, a couple of different versions of cactus monsters. Oh my God, yeah, that's going to be fun as hell. And then Epic Miniatures, they have like nothing <laughs> to do with each other, but <laughs> like, please, damn it. Hi, Hello, Gareth. Tech Priest says, I like that movie. I Wild Wild West, I think. I love that movie. Yeah. Um, but so then Epic Miniatures has like a whole section of like um it's a barrel what's the word? Construct construct? Yeah, drilling construct. Yeah, so it's and then they've got, you know, a train and like they're kind of like in the old it's like steampunk old west. So they kind of all go together, and then Lord of the Prince off by themselves doing wyverns and amazing shit, as always. Stuff, sorry. Yeah, even if you don't want to do the Alter the Streams, I would suggest going and looking Yeah. anyway, because they're pretty cool. Yeah, there's some, some really fun ones in there, and it just... Some of the releases this month go really well with each other, even though they don't... It's, I, I swear to God, they have like a meeting. Like, hey guys, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing this. Cool, I'll do this. Because <laughs> there's so many times that they just, they flow so well together. I know it's not on purpose, but it really does seem like it. Uh, Gareth says, sorry I missed yesterday's stream. I, was that Sunday? I don't think we streamed yesterday. Yeah, Sunday. Oh, and Golden Ghost, he has redeemed redeemed 2000 channel points wants to see the baby dragon from liftoff gotcha okay so the one with in the egg, coming out of the egg right it's really cool tech priestess seems legit uh golden ghosty says drone oh the flying the one <clears throat> excuse me i know what you're talking about yeah um, That's that first one. It's okay. technically, I think, I don't remember which order I put it in, but yeah, one of them is the drone, like, jumping off of the, the rock sort of thing, and the other one is, like, three eggs with a hatchling coming out. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I ordered a new paint that did not get here. Yeah. 
Yeah, the the new release from Lord of the Print is kind of like I need to print all of it three times mm -hmm. just for me. Um, I ordered some new paints because I realized I was seriously lacking in the steel kind of look and they are lost in the mail at the moment. So we're going to stick with our pewter from Apple Barrel. That's, that's what I got right them out. And then what I'll end up doing is dry brushing with Extreme Sheen from Art Deco or Deco Art. I always say Art Deco, but it's Deco Art. So eh. and we get some people just joining recently and Dawn mentioned at the beginning of the stream. If you're hearing any noises, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, a little whining mechanical noises. We do have a, a filament printer running here in the room with us. So, I just finished this boy today. And he's printing basically so this is pan's labyrinth and he's printing the next piece that comes here yeah another one of the the long walls on the side yeah it's kind of a beast and it's amazing and i love it so i am just gonna gonna fly through get my my base coats down I'm a little spoiled at this point with the world building because I'm like, oh, I can just paint and that's it. So, but we will be doing that again tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh, I did say that in the first post today on Discord. Yeah. So tomorrow at six. Yes. P.M. U.S. Central Time, we will be world building and painting again. Yes. And if I finish this guy tonight, then I will pick a random thing to. To paint tomorrow it won't be random it'll be something that i'm either wanting to finish or i'm just in the mood to paint this shit sort of thing pretty sure i saw something come up in chat awesome that's <laughs> sweet <laughs> oh. okay um i was gonna make a different announcement i forgot what it was hmm yeah i still don't really I'm pretty much the resin printer in the house, and Cora. You're, you're still the 3D printer in the house. I'm just yeah starting to learn myself now. Yeah. Well, and that's when I'm like, you know, Ty will come up and's like, well, what about this for you know this and this? I'm like, uh, because well, I, I really look it up. I really have not dealt with filament at all. <clears throat> um. Man, my, I've got sleepy brain syndrome right now. I can't think of what the heck I was going to mention. Well, I don't know if any of you got... Well, I know that uh, Mr. Wacky dropped in with uh, me and Sawdust earlier today, but I was on Discord, and I was live streaming my computer screen because my uh, Sawdust Dragon is my brother. Uh, and he was gracious enough to help me with Blender, which... Yeah, that's all I got to say about Blender. Uh, and actually, no, he, he put it really well. Blender can do so much. It's so many amazing things that it's difficult to get it to do anything. Uh, but he's really good with it, so he was helping me break apart a model. <laughs> but I was, like, so excited because I literally ripped some wings off and made pegs on the body and the wing you know obviously you know male to female and made it to where i can print this model way better like i actually had taken this model off my etsy store because i didn't like how it printed and i'm like i wouldn't want to receive this you know i, I wouldn't want i don't i don't want to send it out to people like this so i had taken it down but now i feel confident that it's going to be a good model and i was super excited and sawdust is amazing and i love him so There's we, a reason. He's the bestest brother ever. We do have an announcement from Gareth. He will not be streaming tomorrow. His voice, he says, my voice sounds like I've been up all night partying, drinking whiskey, and smoking cigars. I hope for your sake that's why your voice is gone. Because at least you Had fun probably too. have some stories you can't tell us. Mm -hmm. Did you do your bass voice? Is that what it is? He says, I'm fine. Otherwise, just my voice sounds terrible and makes me cough up gunk yeah yeah that's not fun 
Uh, Ghosty asks, can I ask when I can expect the Lord of the Print wave to hit the shop? No rush, just curious. Um, usually, it's... I, I, tr I, I always wait until I've actually got the files. And right now, we don't have the files. So it, it's all dependent upon when he releases. Um, he, were, he released photos today, but he didn't actually send out the files themselves yet. It's usually, he's pretty good about getting it in the day or so. I would expect to have the files tomorrow, which means that I will be working feverishly to get them posted to Etsy. Uh, and I will be working on a, a group as well with a small discount for buying the whole set. <laughs> um which I'm I'm trying to get to getting that done each time of having sets, complete sets available as well. But like uh Mini Monster Mayhem sometimes doesn't have the files released until like the seventh or eighth of the month. So I know that I've got the pictures and they say this file's coming, but I would hate to list something and then them say, you know, which they never have, but just in case, have them come back and say, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to finish this one. That'll be, you know, given next month. And then I've got to give, you know, a refund and an excuse and I just would feel stupid. So I like to wait until I have the files in hand. I didn't listen to everything you just said, but... In the future, we're going to change that, I believe. Yes, because we've been doing this for months and months and months and months, and I have never once had a single person come back and say, oh, you know, I know you, you, you got that picture, and I said I was going to send this, but now I'm not. They just have never done that. So we are working to where as soon as we have an image for what something will officially look like, and a size, because that matters. Um, we are working toward the potential of having pre-orders. Uh, I love the set idea. I think it's a really, really cool thing, Go Golden Ghosty sets. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's been an adjustment trying to switch over from having, you know, damn near nothing but masks on etsy to the 3d printing um i mean it was one of those things that we i started making masks when everything went to shit and then i was making them for so long that I'm like as soon as they start to move off then i i'm gonna get back to the thing you know the gaming stuff and then Everything's kind of slowing down and dying off. And I'm like, hey, cool. I can get to start doing the fun stuff again. And then all of a sudden another wave hit and it was crazy again. But I still have embroidered masks that I make. But other than that, I am strictly 3D printing now. Ghosty says a side note, but have you ever used an airbrush or are you strictly brush so um yes i have used an airbrush am i proficient with it oh ty went out and when i was like i think i want to try an airbrush went and bought me a complete set airbrush tank air, uh, um a booth and a light and an exhaust everything i have everything i need is sitting right there for me to use not right here, but um, I have I have it all set up. But that's another part of moving away from masks. My airbrush station, which is usable but not easily accessible, will be able to be moved into an easily accessible area. So I will start trying to get better at it. At this point, well, one, it stems from jealousy. I see people like, you know, I've watched videos and they're like, 
so you just brush here, brush here, brush here. And I'm like, okay, cool. I've got a base coat. And then they start doing all these details. I'm like, what witchcraft is this? <laughs> what Gar the hell? Gareth says, practice, practice, practice. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. And, and I've seen Gareth's airbrush. So witchcraft. <laughs> you know, you'll go to hell for that. Special place in hell, Gareth. I think you're su she's suggesting that we burn you at the stake, apparently. Yes. Um, but no, so it's it's something that I have not practiced, but I am desperate to get good at that because, wow, um, it's extremely impressive what people can do. Even the people that, you know, are just strictly brush people. And I've learned not to compare myself to others. I look at other people's paint jobs and airbrush and all of that and think, cool. So that's where I can get to. That's what I can do. And I don't look at it like, oh, well, everybody's better than me. They are, but that just means I need to work harder. So. Gareth says, you're too kind, milady. And Golden Ghosty says, it definitely takes time to get good with, but it really helps to smooth layers and gradients. Yes. It, the, the, and no, Gareth, I'm not too kind. I'm accurate. Uh, trust me, ask my kids. I am not a nice person. Um, yeah, that's absolutely one of those things that just seeing those smooth transitions are phenomenal. Uh, Lord of the Print just had a, just announced the winners of their painting contest. I was, I've not paid any attention to where I am on the camera. Sorry, what guys. What did we win? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> let she go. Yeah. Um, and they well, just announced go. the winners and I submitted an entry and I was proud of my entry and I'm still proud of my entry because I worked really hard at that. But then I see the winners and I'm like, oh, yep. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you deserved it. Tech Priest says, just go slow to start with and it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Gareth I... says, and thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Gareth says, and thank you. That's very kind of you. And I believe you'll do awesome once you get to practice. And besides Gorilla with a Brushes patron is uh already courting my soul <laughs> yeah kind of amazing um no it, it's definitely something i don't i've i've even thought about you know sh streaming airbrushing i mean it would be you guys would have a blast watching that. <laughs> But I don't know how it would really do because of the noise that the air compressor makes. I don't know how annoying that would be for you guys. But it is something that I am happy to try. Yeah, we should probably think about that someday when we build a studio. Yeah. Put a compressor in another room or something. <laughs> Just on the other side of the wall, put a hole through so we can bring that through, you know. Right. See, you're saying it kind of sarcastically, but I'm no. serious. Okay. I was actually serious. That would work. Just like a hole where the cord can come through, and that's good enough. Uh, Ghosty says airbrushing is so dang satisfying to watch. Garrett, it would be hilarious to watch me. <laughs> Gareth says, oh yeah, I want to compete too in some of these things, but I either choke or don't get the mini done in time. Watch my last Reaper stream for noise level. I was airbrushing, he says. Oh, okay. I will have to watch that. No teeper teepers. Yeah, I think we turned... It was the last one we turned turned it on your phone and my, then I yeah, fell asleep. We were... Ten minutes later. <laughs> we were watching on my phone and we just had it sitting off day. to the side and I don't even... My phone shut itself off. <laughs> um, It didn't like die. It just like went to sleep because... And I just... Me and him both just passed out. Yeah, and that's nothing about Gareth. That was just no. our day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to play with the rock a little bit and get a little dry brushing on that too. Um, oh, and for those of you who were here on Sunday or missed it on Sunday, I don't really care. Either way, I let my brush dry a little for a second. Here is 
the the beastie that Ty that uh, Jake picked the miniature and Ty picked all my colors. So we had set this with the water texture. So, and then I just dry brushed. Oh, I can't get a hold of it. I just dry brushed the tips of it. And let me see if you can hear it. I don't think you can hear that, but it's, it, it's up, you know, it's hard. So I just dry brushed up those ridges with white to give it white caps because, you know, he's stomping around and making all kind of noise. Ah! Well, Regina says, love the base. Yeah, I'm really happy with the base. So the only other thing that I wanted to do was because if you can, I don't think you can tell that from here. Hold on a second. Let me get this up higher. So you can see where this foot over here, his foot is right there at the water, but it's nowhere near the actual water because um, Titan Miniatures designed this base and they did a wonderful job. What they did was they inset everywhere that was water so that you can fill it if you want to, which I thought was brilliant. Uh, no, Gareth, no. Um, <laughs> so what I want to do, and I wanted to wait till I was on stream again, is... I want to put him here, but what I wanted to do was try out, stand up my baby, try out this version of the Vallejo water texture, which is much thinner, because remember this is that paste. Let me get it open here. It's a paste. This other stuff, you just pour it, it it's liquid, and you just pour it in. It's complete water but i thought i should show it on stream because i've never used them before so one of the other things i wanted to do was tone it a little bit and i'm sticking with the colors that ty gave me so the blue that's in here i just set it over to the side and now i just dropped it excuse me <laughs> i literally can't find it <laughs> i found it so the blue that Ty gave me was this. See, there you go. So what I want to do. Yeah, Karen says I saw he it. has that and he hasn't tried it yet. So normally, like it's got a nice little tip. I could just pour it right in there because I want to tone it. I'm going to put it in here first. You see how liquidy this one is compared to that one. And I think they work really well together as well, too. So, figured I'll do this real quick while kind of waiting for a coat to paint. And I don't want it to be that solid blue. Let me hold it this way. So, I'm not really going to mix it. I'm just kind of swirling it. Because I want it to be in some places and not others. So that it looks like water and it has different colors. Okay. So yeah, that pours really, really well. And I forget exactly how long it takes to dry. I read the bottle, but then I forgot. It has no scent whatsoever. I'm not going to put it up next to my nose, but... Now, technically, I've gotten rid of all of my ridges because this co completely covered over the top of those. You can still see them in there. And once this is dry, I can actually come back with this and add more ridges. So, and this stuff, well, I'm not going to use it because it wouldn't work. It would just glob into there. But this stuff is so thick that you can plop it on and then just kind of bring your brush or toothpick or whatever you're using right up and it makes spikes really really quickly so yeah see that looks really good really quick okay i'm going to slide that off yeah i mean it 
it smells like acrylic paint. That's all it smells like. So there's, I mean, like if I was normally, I would do resin and that would stink to high heaven, but it doesn't smell at all. So that's really, really nice. Okay. So now my rocky base, I'm actually going to use a little bit of the same gray because I've got sand down here and rock up here and I want my rock to be more gray. So a little bit more than that. While you're doing that, I just want to remind everybody we uh we're at 91 Twitch followers. So we just have nine more followers to go. And we will be giving away this gigantic Brachiosaurus. <laughs> And while that photo is up, I will remind everyone that I have actually printed this out full scale now. And all of those little pieces, like inside the caravan up on his back and the side pieces and everything else, um, those there's barrels and there's a chest and there's a hammock with a dude sleeping in it. Uh, all of that is separate pieces. So you can literally paint all the pieces and then put them in your caravan where you want it. So it, it's really gonna... Damn it! Gareth. <laughs> um, it's really gonna be kind of easy to paint the way Lord of the Print broke it all down. It, it's pretty convenient. So anyway, that was it, babe. But yeah, we are not far from giving that away, guys. And we will be doing a giveaway tonight as well. Which I will not make easy on you guys. I already have a word in mind. And it's not going to be easy to spell. Mainly because Gareth has jump scared me multiple times now. So everyone, thank Gareth for getting a really hard word. And yes, spelling matters. You must spell it right to get it to count. Well, that's true. It, won't it won't pick it up if you don't spell it right. <laughs> don't you love it when your minis jump out of your hands? I don't even understand how I lost my grip on that. <laughs> no you wouldn't would you gareth i am going to get a little bit more white out because basically all i'm going to do is start mixing my white in with my gray hey you guys can see my my palette over here So that I can just kind of build up lighter and lighter gray. I love painting rocks. They're like one of the easiest things to do. I like making them out of clay too. They're super easy to make. I'm trying to be good and not use my hand. But I'm like struggling to not dry brush right there. Hello, Hicko BP. <laughs> I just want to go Hicko. Hicko. I like that name. It's fun. <laughs> oh, damn it. Hello, Sawdust. Hi, Sawdust. <laughs> Because she says it's one of those things that's so simple and so satisfying as it comes together. It is. It really is. It's just like, it's sort of the same thing as a tree. You know, it doesn't really matter how you paint it. It's going to look like a tree. And a rock is the same way. It doesn't matter what you do. It's going to look like a rock. For anyone that just got on, Dawn was just mentioning, we will be giving away a mini mystery box, a mystery mini box. With an impossibly difficult word because of Gareth. The day. With a hard word, but you can just copy it from whenever I put it in text later. And paste it. Uh... Why would you help them? <laughs> They're supposed to get angry at Gareth. <laughs> 
they won't. <laughs> that's going to be in about, well, in about 45 minutes. We'll do that. Just just oh right about gosh, 8 o'clock our been... time. Oh, uh, I am so you, far behind. Not quite an hour. You, you've been on less than an hour. I'm so far behind. Uh, Get good, scrub. That's what I told Sawdust earlier. <laughs> Oh. That's okay. I'm almost done with the rock. Now I'm almost pulling just the white. I'm probably going to make a mess of this. I'm going to try to show everybody the... Um... The three pin printer over there whining. Yes, just, if, if you, you guys hear it, that's what it is. If you don't want to get dizzy, look away from Beard Cam Man. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's centered. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's the whining machine in the corner here <laughs> next to us. <laughs> this is fun your definition of fun and mine is very different kind of got it back right i guess something like that i feel like i need to go super super fast um, to get over to the crabs so this says i'm done with the plasma cutter very cool uh, gareth says got the kiddos in the tub and i missed some stuff what else did i get yelled at for Oh, you same left thing. your shoes out, and you're supposed <laughs> to put them away. They Nothing don't go new, in the Garrett. middle of the, the living room floor. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That was me. I got yelled at for that. Oh, my gosh. That's actually not really... I mean, it is funny because I was yelling at, um, at Ty and the kids for constantly leaving their shoes in the middle of the floor. And come to find out, it was our dog moving them. Oh. In the middle of the night he would never mess with anybody's shoes so i never thought it was him and then i caught him like late at night dragging the shoe out from there over to the center and just leaving it i'm like what a jackass <laughs> now i was it's funny uh sawdust that you were brought up the plasma cutter because i was telling Ty, I was showing Ty how you were sitting to paint, and I was like, no wonder you can't get, you know, a good grip for, for details. And then I realized, I'm making fun of you, but damn, you got some good posture while you're painting. I don't know. I'm like, I'm all like, Bleh. well, I paint. I'm squished down every which way I can go, and you're sitting nice and high and tight. I'm like, that's crazy to me. I just took some of the straight up gray into the crevices because it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. I'm trying to rip this done out because I want to get to the Krabby Krabbies. The only other thing I'm not sure. Normally what I do is I've got some moss and lichen stuff that I love to use on rocks. But this is underwater is, my, is what I'm thinking. So I love to use these. I don't know if I will. If anything, I probably only use this one. So I'll set it off to the side, but I don't know for sure if I'm going to use it. Gareth asks, how was that posture again? That's mine. <laughs> Ghosty says, do you use a primer on most of your models? If so, what do you use? I don't tend to. Uh, when I'm painting a Reaper, I do. Uh, but when I'm doing these, I, I prime and base coat kind of the same way. Um, I really love the Vallejo surface primers. Uh, specifically this color. I love this one. It's uh, German red-brown. I 
totally addicted to that one. I can't tell you why, but I am. But it makes you sound like you're huffing the paint, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Now it makes my nose like hurt. Anyway, I don't typically like these guys are not primed at all. I'm just gonna paint straight on them. These I just used a um spray can. I don't even know what brand it is. It's whatever Ty buys. And I use that for priming so i'm just it's not specifically made for priming although the spray cans are because they're primer and paint in one aren't yeah, they yeah they're they're both they're both so they are both but um typically i just start painting unless it's reaper and then i wash it and then i boil it and then i reshape it and then i prime it well she goes says we can fix that posture just add a posture checkpoints redemption like some people use the uh, hydrate. And oh yeah. Exercise, and we've got lar lo uh, loud sounds. We could add one to tell you to sit your your sit Shit, straight up. Sit my ass up. Yeah. Because I do. I start to like get crunched down, and I'm like getting in. You know, because I move my body, not the mini. That was actually something that I figured out really quickly. I'm just kind of. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of drying off my brushes because I'm getting ready to kind of switch switch gears switch colors that sort of thing um but that was something that i noticed when i first started to airbrush that i had to readjust how i painted because typically i take my mini and you'll see me turning my mini every which direction but what i used to do is maneuver my hand and keep the mini basically still so then when i went to try to to airbrush the first time dump i'm like oh that doesn't work. <laughs> so now i've readjusted myself to where i'm moving the mini way more than i'm moving anything else so that actually kind of helped me or it's it's helping me get better at dry brush or not dry brushing airbrushing but hopefully i'll be getting back to that soon ghosty don't ever feel dumb about questions like this for no. sure uh was asking what reaper is because uh has heard oh. us talking about it a couple times regina was kind enough to answer that that's uh probably the one of the bigger it, companies it's not the biggest yeah. yeah the i mean there's a couple that are probably knocking on their door but it's a pretty big company for for minis yeah uh, and sawdust says i can finally talk about base coats i painted something today it was super fun <laughs> okay so these are these little crabs are tiny um, so I'm going to, I'm getting all my colors out now because I do want to kind of wet blend them together. Uh, some of the colors I want to be separate, some of the colors I don't, but I, I need to have all of my colors out and ready for me. Otherwise I'll have crap like this where nothing is coming out. And then I would have screwed myself. <laughs> so I'm getting my paint ready before I start painting. All right, folks, we are a little over 30 minutes away from the mystery mini box giveaway tonight. Be sure that you are following if you're not following yet. Um, and then uh, when the time comes, we are going to give you a word to enter into chat. And that will enter you into the drawing. And we will do a random roll and pull out from the people who enter whatever that is. And we will ship that to you anywhere in the world uh, on our dime. So hang out for a little over 30 minutes and we'll get that uh, that giveaway done. We have uh, about five boxes left is what I think we have left. That sounds right. So uh, Reaper is actually where I what I started painting as well. Uh, that company is what I started painting. And then I got into 3D printing. And so now all of my Reapers are still sitting off to the side and, and need painting. Okay. So now I have three shades of blue, red, yellow, and my Brain Matter Beige, which is my off-white. So I'm going to start painting. And I did put a picture in Discord of what I am hoping to achieve with this. But we'll see if that's actually what happens. 
<laughs> Basically, I'm going to start painting, and whatever I decide I like is what I'm going to keep. So, so what are you going to... So I know uh, somebody was asking for blue. I think you said you liked red. I would love some soft shell. <laughs> I'm going with the blue crab. Because soft shell blue crab is my favorite to eat as well. <laughs> Let's see if we're going to get some hate mail on that one. Um, <laughs> was this... Who picked this one last week? Was it Regina? This was or? Regina. Basically, Regina said crab, and I knew what one she meant. Because <laughs> basically, this little tiny crab sits on the rock here and the oxalotl is looking at him um go see yes. so it's like one of the branded companies like tamia or citadel reaper has i don't know that citadel has minis but companies like cool mini or not yeah although they mostly do theirs i guess for it seems like they mostly do them for games. board games now. Um, but Reaper has paints, has um, minis. Um, they do it all, baby. Bases. Uh, Soda says, "Well, you know, for crabs, you could use a, you could use yellow in a pinch." I do have yellow out for their pinchers. And Gareth says, aim for the moon, and if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. That's where I burn up, usually. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is tap it with my fingertip, and it kind of blends my colors together. It's just when you have a tiny little mod. Model is what I was trying to say, and I was doing details and I distracted myself. Uh, it's difficult to tap with a finger. So basically, anytime I was doing the blue, I wasn't really washing my brush because I wanted it to blend. But now that I'm going into my yellows and my reds, I don't really want it to blend it, or I didn't want it to blend with the blue, so I made sure I had all the blue off. Hopefully I'm staying in frame for you guys. And the fun part here is, this is just the beginning, so coming back and adding more color over the top is fairly easy. Because I'm doing my, my paints fairly thin, and you see me wipe off my brush, that's just to make sure I don't have big clumps of paint in there. Because I'm doing thin coats, I can add more and more without losing the detail of my mini. Because that's something that I used to do is just, let me get as much paint on there as I possibly can. And now it looks like a big blob of paint instead of a person. You're eating chocolate? That's not fair. No. I can see it. I mean, nobody else knows what you see. Ow. One of the other one this one stabbing me in the back of my nail. Thomas says, threw that on the thin coat thing. <laughs> yes, we talked about that quite a bit. Can you guys hear the the whizzing in the background of the 3D printer or no? 
I'd be surprised if you can't. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a, uh, a filter on it to block out other sounds. Oh, you know what? I like this yellow, so. Eyeballs. Like fry eyeballs are kind of easy to do. I think what I'll end up doing is painting the, the eyeball stalks this bright yellow. But then at the very, very tip of it, just dab black right there. Oh, Gareth can hear, hear it a little bit. Uh, Ghosty says, I feel like some of these models need a warning or something because they have some sharp quills. I'm working on a skunk ape right now, oh. and he's just covered in, like, tiny razors. That thing bit the hell out of me when I was trying to clean off all the supports. Oh, I got so mad at that thing. And Soda says, wait, you're holding the brush like a pencil? <laughs> yes, Sawdust. But this one is specifically designed with grips right here. My imagination, you were holding your brush like this. Sawdust and I were on the phone for quite a while today. So, back here is where you should be holding, not up here. Better control. And a lighter touch. So, you even see the, the pinky resting thing that I was talking about, too. To balance my, my painting hand. Uh, says okay makes sense then why you don't why don't you say that again what soda says oh okay makes sense then why don't you <laughs> um so ghosty mentioned the skunk ape and that does remind me that that was loud yeah so uh, some of the pro uh, some of the project pressures that I've been having are releasing now so hopefully soon we'll be getting back to gamers in the unknown if you're if you're not familiar with that that's on the gamers in the unknown channel not on this channel uh when we get back to that then it's Mondays at 7 p.m U.S Central time where we talk about uh, cryptids and uh you know just do a little bit of research and have fun talking about those and then Jake and I will talk about how we would use those uh, paranormal creatures or events in our tabletop role-playing game so it's kind of a fun chaotic research slash goof off gaming time <laughs> yeah and i usually paint something that is in theme for them like you've done uh slender man and... that one oh my god i had so much fun but that one and goat man were my two favorite ones to paint because both of them, I painted them with the idea that when these things are seen, they're usually caught on like night vision or with a flashlight. So Slenderman literally has like one side of him super bright because he was caught with a flashlight. And the other one, the goat man, was painted all in like green tones because it was night vision cams. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I really, yeah, really, really liked neat. that one. Um. The Doolahan, the Headless Horseman, you painted yeah. that one. So yeah, kind of a mishmash of the paranormal meets tabletop role playing. So I just mixed some of my that darkest blue with the yellow to give me like a, a little nice green color to put under his belly. Ghosty says, "Oh, it'd be fun to see you." Do the Wendigo. That is on our list. It is on our list, and I am doing the one from Lord of the Print is the one I will be painting for that. And we do give away the painted miniature. Right, like every other time. It's like every other stream, I think, is what we're what we were doing. Krampus was a lot of fun. Krampus was fun. 
It was a fun research time too on that one. <laughs> yeah. Cause we did Krampus and Gorilla. 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 I keep calling her Gorilla. 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 She was a lot of fun because I did both of them. So I can't say we'll definitely be back next Monday, but should be soonish. And we will announce in uh, Discord too whenever that comes back for sure. Um, Ghosty says, I just watched that Winnie film, Antlers, and now I'm dying to get me the figure. We have not seen it yet. I have not seen it yet, but I am looking forward to watching it very, very list. soon. Yeah. Well, I have to say, even if I don't finish the other little boobies, I like how this one's turning out. And this is my detail face. I was thinking, what will I dry brush him with? But I don't know that I will, honestly. I might only be able to paint one of these tonight because I still have a whole lot of work to do on him. I think tomorrow night, guys, we'll be finishing this guy. I don't think I'm going to get to paint something else, which is fine. Um, Sada says, when you change color paints and dry brushing, do you wash the brush, which seems to defeat the idea of dry, or just use a paper towel to get the old color off? So it depends on what I'm doing. If I am dry brushing the same thing, like when I was doing the rock and I was going from the darker shade and just bringing it up, I was mixing a little bit more white in each time until I got to straight up white. I didn't wash my brush between that at all. But then when I was finished with that, I actually, while I was, you know, I just moved that off to the side and I was sitting there with getting ready to work on the crab. I started by just having everything sitting still and I washed my brush and dried my brush. So my dry brush is sitting over here drying out, but yes, I'll wipe it out really good with a paper towel as well. I also dry brush a little more wet than a lot of people do. I don't mind having a little bit of water in my dry, in my brush itself. I think I want a little bit lighter of a blue. Oh, I'm going to use this because it's super bright. It's kind of a greenish blue. So Ooh. be sure and look at, I made this on the Discord. Uh, Sawdust shared the plasma cutter that he made. It's pretty cool. Did you share the picture of the one with you with the posture as well? Because it was kind of impressive. <laughs> I'm, I've got it on the screen for you, Dawn. Oh, right, everybody else is going to have to go to Discord. <laughs> Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, I dig the details. Kind of using this color as like kind of a a highlight slash scar. I got in a, a fight with it, you know. And that's another thing I tend to do when I'm doing something really tiny detail is having the paint right here. You can see it's already drying out on me because I have so little of it. But having it really close to where I'm working means I can get it there before it dries out. Okay, now I need black. I have no black out. I have no idea where my black is either. I'm going to get a nice little bubble of it because all I'm going to do is cap the top of those eyes.
Look at him in the meaty little eyes. Is he not the cutest little thing? He's made for me plate. He's made for the deep fire, <laughs> son of a bitch! I saw that one coming. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, Golden, you are... Ghosty says, wow, seem, she seems focused. Y you're getting the hang of the duck real quick. <laughs> Gareth has taught you well. <laughs> the uh, quack master. Yes. So basically... He is hard to handle. Because she's so tiny. Gareth says adorable. Right? So he sits like that. And he sits. Like that. See how bright and pretty he is? And then I have the other ones I gotta paint too. But yeah, that's not gonna happen right now. Because we're gonna go back to this guy. You move oh, over there. Oh, that's what you were painting. What? <laughs> You've been on the crab for so long. Uh, well, I know. I wanted to get to the crab because Reg Regina specifically wanted the crab. So I got the crab. Oh, thank you, Sadas, for the 27 corgis. Yay, more corgis. Yeah, I like the corgis. And some hearts, too. Oh, hearts, too? And oh, the, oh the cool. Are they elephant hearts? No, that's a unicorn. Oh. I cannot get this one open. So My prescription screaming. ran out while we were streaming here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to shake this one. Actually, what I should do while my red is out. That's what I wanted to use. On this. And it doesn't need much at all. Uh, Regina says it's all about the little blue crab. Right? So I got one of them painted on stream for you. Get the rest painted later. Probably tomorrow's stream. Sit and fiddle with little, the little fiddly bits. But it's, I mean, that's kind of why I like base coating with the main color I want to use because then it just becomes about the uh, the details and I can dry brush so many of the details and get those done so quickly there you are that it just really kind of helps speed the process up not that I'm going for speed but I would like to you know eventually finish things for you guys It's the hair over 15 minutes out from the drawing. So you want to tell me what that word is now? No, you don't want to tell me, I guess. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. expialidocious. So you think the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Okay. That's going to make everybody real happy. Thank cool. you, Gareth. Not least of which is me. Be sure to copy and paste, even if I misspell it. <laughs> you can just do oxalotl. <laughs> How about we do that? I like that better. That uh, it's not requiring me to type. Oh no, much. let's do Gareth is a butthead. Well, that's long too. <laughs> I'm probably gonna misspell it as well. <laughs> Dawn, you are oh, evil. Yes. Ghosty says. Regina yes. says uh, I work late on Wednesdays right now, so I can't tune in for those. Oh well, I'll. See See the finished pics in Discord. Yes, you will. Uh, no, just just wait. I haven't even started it yet. I'm, yeah. I'm going to use Axolotl, I think. You're not pleased with that, are you? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's well, funny either way. Letters in there. I'm going to be like, I don't want that damn thing that bad anyway. <laughs> <laughs> First unclaimed giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm just going right on the ridge of this guy's, um, I don't know what that is called. The fluffy part that comes out. Real? Real, I guess. But it's basically, it, it goes out. It comes, it has a, a ridge and then it comes into like a little feather area. So that ridge, I just went red right along there. All right, now let's see. Let's keep dry brushing him because I've got some of that. Actually, I've got those two colors out. So I'll just use this. So I know I'm doing it off screen, but basically uh, I do this to get my tip back and I kind of use my fingers to pull out a lot of the water. Um, or I'll take and do it on my paper. And that's when I just set it on my dry br my brushes over here and then they kind of dry out while I'm not using them. But a lot of times when I'm just sitting here, it looks like I'm doing nothing. I'm literally pulling the brush with my fingers to kind of pull the water out. And I can kind of tell, even with the gloves, I can tell how wet my, my brush is if it's too wet for what I want to do next. To kind of go back to uh, Sawdust's comment earlier. I am mixing the brain matter beige that I had out earlier. Which apparently had some blue in it, but that's okay. I mixed some yellow in. Just kind of using up the colors that I have. And we're going to keep building up his color. Did you read the thing from Sawdust or? Uh, the fiddler crab? No. If you had a fiddler crab in a terrarium with a log cabin. Rack. Uh, heart attack. Uh, if you had a fiddler crab in a terrarium with a log cabin, you could have a fiddler on the roof. I don't. <laughs> no. Ty could print me a log cabin now. Or a, a Viking longhouse. Yes, that would be even better. Let's do that. Let's get Georgie a bigger cage, and then we can get a Viking longhouse in there for her. Um, where's the new cage going? I don't know. In yeah, the new house. The only thing I'm sure of is out of my office. I know. <laughs> I would love to have a two-story cage for her. So right now she's in an aquarium, and the bottom part of it is just the stand for the aquarium, which is kind of just a waste of space, really. My office. Ha ha ha, that was Tyler's fault. Sorry. My bad. All right, Ty, are we almost set up for them to start? Uh, yeah, we're just about set up, but it's still 10 minutes to 8. Okay. I mean, I, I, do, do you follow? If you're not following yet, make sure you're following to try and enter. Uh, the word is going to be axolotl. I mean, realistically, they can enter now, right? Or no? I guess I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let you do it. it. I mean, it should be within 10 minutes, so that's why I kind of wait. Oh, okay. It might be 15 minutes. I don't remember now. He likes to roll in my hand. But what else? Let's see. Be sure you're following. We'll enter Oxalotl in chat soon. Um, tomorrow, Dawn and I will be... But I will share soon. So I will share. I, but I feel you. Uh, all of those are wrong. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, tomorrow, 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time, we will be back for 
probably painting this again, it sounds like. Um, yeah, I don't see how. Let's see, we've got... What time is it? Yeah, there's no way I'm finishing this in half an hour. It's a little over, but yeah, no, that's that's fine. Now you already know what you're going to do. Which, if I finish this on the stream tomorrow, one, I will post photos for everyone to see in Discord, but I also, I, I'll have a spare mini over here. Actually, you know what? No. I'll finish him, and if once I finish him, I will start painting. Ooh. Which basically, it's going to be interesting, but not because it's a whole bunch of dry brushing. That's one of the beautiful things about printing in this dark color, is that means that all my crevices and dark, you know, areas are already done for me. All I have to do is start dry brushing over the top. So Don will be painting that, and... We, and you, will be working on world building the plane again. Um, do remember to check out the, the new category in Discord for the plane CrowdForge to drop in and, you know, let us know what you think about the different discussions. Join in the discussions. Spit your own ideas out there. It is uh, essentially, it's what we usually call the wall, but much more interesting than a, an Excel sheet. Um do we have an alter the streams deal? I'm sitting on 7K. Yeah, there is alter the streams options out on the alter the streams channel on Discord. So what is being painted next week has already been claimed. Oh, what was it? I forgot. It's the um, it's this the first or second one from Lord of the Print. It's the the one that's like flying up. Drone. The that drone. The drone. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So that is what's being painted. But if you use your alter the stream points at this point, you can. Give me a theme you want me to stick to, colors you want me to use. You can basically kind of direct in one way or another. Um, so if you wanted to use your points or you can save them for the next time and do a different alter the stream where you can pick the mini. That's basically how it works is if you're the first person to use it, you get to pick the uh the miniature that i paint if you're if somebody else uses their points they can sort of start to kind of direct me in the direction they want to see the mini go yeah so we'll be painting on this again tomorrow and we'll be world building the plane if you haven't joined in on this it's a lot of fun at least it seems like we've all been i'm certainly we've been enjoying ourselves much yeah very much um, while building content that hopefully actually will be Things that you guys are, well, invested in, I guess, but also interested in since you're taking part in adding to this new world. Um, in the next couple of minutes, we're going to be... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was sawdust. Get him. Damn it, sawdust. Uh, in the next couple of minutes, we're going to be doing the drawing the keyword is going to be oxalotl i will go ahead and give everybody the uh, uh the chat so that you can copy and paste it uh that was uh technically sawdust did it but it was actually uh ghosty idea. <laughs> <laughs> um oh man and uh oh yeah be, be sure that you're following but yeah now everybody you can start entering oxalotl all uppercase, all lowercase, proper case, it doesn't matter. It should get picked up as long as it's spelled the way I have it typed in there. We'll call that correct. And remember, guys, we are nine followers away, so make your friends follow. Get your family members following. And somebody will get that Brachiosaurus of Doom. Ghosty says we are collaborating against you. Yeah, I'm kind of used to that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will have to say that usually Sawdust and I are on the same side of that collaboration. Just remember, Sawdust, I know where you live. <laughs> Regina, how could you? How could you? I'm broken hearted. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I thought if anybody, you would have my back. 
That reminds me, I gotta check my points on uh, Gamers in the Unknown. Jackass. I expect you to betray me. <laughs> uh, Regina says, sometimes you have to jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> Not nice, man. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition to sawdust. <laughs> Regina says, besides, it made you laugh. <laughs> This is true. Hello again, da Gareth. Oh, I probably got paint on my face now. Because <laughs> I got paint all over my fingers. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what you guys would do without the without the noises. Oh, the air conditioner just kicked on and that feels so good. I, I think I, think I, I forgot, forgot to mention, mention I don't think, uh, all right, so, so if you happen to be watching on YouTube, the drawings for Twitch, sorry, it's just, that's the way our tools work. Yeah, um, sorry. So be sure to be following us on Twitch, enter, be sure to follow us on Twitch, and enter, everybody loves it when I do this, I think. And enter. Oh gosh, now I gotta spell it. Uh, so copy and paste. Copy and paste. Why don't, that's a good point. Why am I? I don't know. I mean, I think it's the same. Yeah, I did it the same. But anyway, uh, for a chance to win a free mystery mini. Every now and again, that thing kind of like freaks out, but it's doing its job. It's not going nuts or anything. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know which, which sounds you're talking about. It's either changing its pattern or to make the little crack sound when it pulls the, the filament off of the uh, spool. It's when it's changing its pattern. You know, if this was a little bit bigger, well, I mean, a lot bigger, it actually like wear it as a bracelet. Like how cute would that be just having a little oxalotl carrying around on you? It's not my thing. You have, yeah, you have no taste, though. So anyway, yes, an inter oxalotl. We're going to be doing the the giveaway. We're minutes away from doing the drawing, so be sure to enter oxalotl. Be sure to be following us on Twitch. And uh, if you are the lucky winner, you will get to pick from the mystery mini boxes remaining. Let's throw this. Sawdust. I almost dropped this. We're getting so low, guys, we may actually just start having the boxes up here on the table with me. Okay, just a couple more minutes. And a couple more warnings, I guess. I, I, well, I, just, I see the numbers changing, and I don't want anybody to miss out. If you want to enter the drawing for the mystery mini giveaway, be sure to be following us on Twitch and enter Oxalotl. There's all these examples in the chat right now. Type Oxalotl into chat, and you'll be entered into the drawing. If you win, we're going to let you pick one of the remaining mystery mini boxes, and we will ship it out to you in the next day or two. Uh, Ghosty says, damn it, I kind of got karma. I jumped with that one. <laughs> you know, the when it's really bad is whenever, like, I do it to try to get Ty and I get myself. It's like, I knew it was coming. I freaking did it. Okay. Sawdust, it's a good thing you're already entered into the drawing. Because oxyladyl is not the right way of spelling that. <laughs> Got to give you them wild goose chases. Yeah, do not follow that example. All right. Okay, we're moments away now. 
We were moments away moments ago. I know. I feel bad, though, the numbers change, and then somebody comes in, and they're like, oh, you did the drawing already? You know, I know. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You say when, Dawn, and I will roll it. Two minutes, Turkish. Oh, okay. No. Talk to you in four minutes. <laughs> it's four minutes, two minutes ago. Are we ready, guys? I think we're ready. Nightbot says we're ready. <laughs> okay, you say when. When. Already? Oh, well, yes. And the winner is Regina. Congrats, Regina. Congratulations. You're going to get to pick. I don't even remember what you said the numbers remaining were. Two. Four. Hold on. Look, there's four. You're going to crush that oxalotl. There's two. <laughs> It's two, four, six, ten, and fourteen. That is it. Wait. Two, four, six, ten, and sixteen, not fourteen. I can't read my writing. Do we not have the board? We do. But But it's wrong because I can't read my writing right there. It's like all scratched out. The board is from Yeah, big Big congrats, Regina. It's pull the lever. That's, uh, oh, I guess he did say handle. I know what you meant. <laughs> Flush it. That's what you meant, right? No, pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. <laughs> All right, Regina, so we just need one of those numbers from you, and we will get that shipped out to you tomorrow or the next day, probably tomorrow. It'll probably be tomorrow. Mail seems like it's back to normal now that our weather is. Except for the things that are missing in the mail. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the missing things in the mail. I'm still, like, just so upset. Uh, Regina says, Whoop, maybe it will not be lost in the mail this time. Ah, that's what we were just talking about. Let's go with 16. 16 it is. 16 is off the board, I believe. That reduces us to four. It does. Four. There's only four more giveaways. Unless we get slammed and then, you know... But in the next couple of shows and we get uh, 100 followers and then we're going to give them all away as yeah. well as let me find my button as well as this giant brachiosaur dun, yeah whatever dun, if, if we have any boxes when we hit our 100 followers we will be giving away all of the remaining mystery boxes that same episode oh my let's see uh so this is well, my video is lagging almost a full minute from chat. That oh, that big. sucks. Uh, yeah, big congratulations, Regina. I don't had Regina. I don't know if they had won. They had, and then it got lost in the mail. Oh. So then there's just a random mini. Another order or something they were talking about. Yeah, random. Well, that's what really sucked is their dice bag got lost in the mail as well so we had to redo the dice bag and then i sent them a different mini that was cool that i knew that they would love I'm just so lightly hitting this thing Okay, I am about to switch over to the the silver because I want to see his head get all shiny. Okay. So now, normally we would say go watch Garrett tomorrow night at 9.30 U.S. Central, I believe is the correct time. Um, but Gareth is not going to be streaming to, tomorrow. I would suggest going to follow Gareth. So that you, you get, get the notification. So that you yeah. get the notification when Gareth Haridmar is streaming. Um, and also Gamers in the Unknown, if you are interested in hearing our paranormal gaming stuff, I'll... I'll pop something in chat so you can just click on that name 
Oh, the worst. Yeah. Um, as, as soon as Jake and I are get our schedules lined up again and we can hang out and talk about things like Bigfoot and the Mothman and stuff like that and, and Wendigo, um, follow us in that way. You don't have to wait for me and Dawn to tell you. Uh, and instead, you should get a, a notification that we've finally gone live again. <laughs> Uh, Finally, the, the Dr. Peter J. Hackrip is threatening to first kill us and then quit. So I don't know why he feels the need to quit after murdering us. Payback. But his life. You guys kind of deserve it. I, I worry it means he's going to bring us back to life afterwards. Uh, well, let's see. Um,. Soto says, I just fell in love with Cactus Monster, a.k.a. Cactus Troll Dog. Is that not the cutest freaking thing? And that's only one of them. There, there's a multiple different versions. Um, from the Alter the Streams channel. Yeah, that guy's pretty neat looking. I'll stay in the bigger area. I'm going to have to go to a smaller brush for that. This is just that uh, metallic silver or steel. Let's see. Extreme Shine or Extreme Sheen. That's the name of this color. It's the closest thing I have to a steel color at the moment. It wouldn't be, but my paints got lost in the mail. Among other things. Yeah. Sad, sad days right now. My my pretty toys. I do have... Um... A couple of new toys, the Liquid Frost, coming from Green Stuff World. But I also have a gel thing that's like uh, for making fire and, and doing these really cool things. And as I was explaining it to a friend of mine, I very quickly realized if I add some color to this, it'd be the same thing. Uh -huh. That's okay. I don't mind trying out new things and playing with toys and making them awesome and seeing if they work and stuff like that. Especially if I can say, hey, you know, this works, but there's a cheaper way to do it. Or this works and it works amazing and it's worth it. For me, I love green stuff. I love pretty much everything I've ever used from them. It's just a matter of the fact that they're not in the U.S., so shipping takes a long time. Ghosty asks, have you tried any of AK Interactive stuff? Uh, and then, Gareth's got to run. I'll catch you later, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Gareth. Hey, bye, Gareth. I hope your voice gets yeah. better quick. Get your voice back. Calm down on the cigars and whiskey. Um, Ghosty, the name is not ringing a bell, but that doesn't mean no, that just means it, it it's not ringing a bell for me, so probably not, but I can't guarantee that. All right, I'm going to switch to a smaller dry brush now to get the smaller areas. <laughs> Shameful. Who did that? Oh, you are such a jackass. That's terrible. Badly timed. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, what <laughs> name? Well, that one got me too. <laughs> See, look, now he's like armored. Is that not cute? Yeah, that was a good idea. And I'm thinking I might 
go really, really lightly with this on the crab, just to kind of give him a shimmer shimmer. You know how they can kind of sort of be iridescent sometimes? I'm doing this like, you, you know, it's like they're back. You know, it almost would look, I'm tempted to kind of see if I could make it look like it's got some rusted areas as well. To really make it look like it's armor. I think I'll decide that later because we're running low on time anyway. Ghosty says they do a lot of textured paints and stuff, and most of their stuff is truly incredible. I'm trying some of their snow stuff, and it looks so real. Um, I actually picked up a technique from Michael Mordor on snow, and I'm kind of addicted to doing it that way now, where I just take some of the snow and mix it with PVA glue, or actually sand works as well really fine sand uh and you can blob it on pretty thick and it gives it uh it gives it that packed in snow look regina says shimmer and i imagine they say it with like jazz hands or something shimmer uh, how would you say it any other way i don't know i don't have any idea about that so this is, oh, I do like the Armored Salamander idea. I see what you're talking about with just let it happen. All right, here comes the Shimmer Shimmer. And I just want to go really super lightly so that it gives it that shine, but it doesn't take over the blues and the greens that we have in there. Mm -hmm. well, that was pretty. The sound? Mm -hmm. That was just the sound from my yeah. Opera GX browser. That made me happy. So he's not done yet. Oops, sorry. Move out of the way for a minute. He is absolutely not done. Get him in the right spot. There we go. But you can see how cute he is looking. That is like not in focus. You want to help me out, babe? Oh, I'm sorry. Get me focused. Oh. Uh, yes. Excuse me. And I, as always, Lord of the Print does a really beautiful job of giving me a crisp, clean border on the base. So I'll take that to a, a pretty color to make it stand out from the rest. Can we just zoom in on that too? Yeah, there you go. Look at the little deeper deepers. They are cute. He is so flipping cute. He's hard to turn because he's not on there yet. Uh, Ghosty says, that's what I've heard of, but one of their... Paints is like the crystal, my wet snow look. I'll send a picture in Discord, but it looks like that shiny wet snow, and it's mind-blowing. That's cool. That sounds awesome. But see, let me get my tweezers out. You can leave it right there for a minute, babe. Okay. Once I have the other guys painted, my idea is, see, this is why I use tweezers. Come here, you little sucker. I said sucker. So they can be, you know, obviously they disappear at the moment. Oh my God, these little crabs. Fade away into the background. I literally can't get a grip on him. Let's see, they can... be so much easier once it's dabbed with glue. 
my hope is that the itty bitty ditty baby one will be kind of right there so you can kind of see where i'm going with it anyway but that is the basic layout come here come here <laughs> i'm just picking them up you can go back to normal now but even if we only did the one crap it's still super cute but why would i only do the one put him back on his board yeah i like that shimmer on him that looks really good Show. He's nice and brightly colored. And then this, I need to do the sand. It's shiny at the moment, and I want to paint. Actually, I'm going to just take care of that. Oh, I turned that light off. Now I turned it off. Oh my gosh, I'm having issues. There we go. I think I'm just going to paint my base now. I love using this metallic for uh the edges because it's like this really cool coppery color so i'm gonna get that done now because i'm looking at the time going ah so i don't want to work on a whole lot of detail work because then i'll get puzzle suctioned in and it will not be 15 minutes and i'm done it'll be you know five hours from now i realize i should have stopped But I'm just doing a thin coat. Regina says it glistens. Yes. It's too bad. Damn it. I'm purposely wiping that off. There we go. All right. Well, while you're working on this. Yes. I don't know so what we're, we're going to talk, talk about tomorrow, tomorrow for the plane yet. We have, we have lots, lots of subjects. It's not going to be hard to figure it out, but certainly if there's any specific subjects that folks would like to discuss tomorrow about the plane, maybe mention it in uh, Discord, uh, I guess on the... The general chat? Yeah, Cathar general. Yeah, I think that'd be the best place for it. And if I don't hear from you guys, we'll pick something. I think one that we'll have to keep revisiting as we go through some of the subjects is we'll have to keep coming back to uh, careers. Yeah. Because we keep coming up just today. Ghosty and I, I think, we're talking about a creature. I think it was today. And we were talking about how I was going to need a another career, Pied Piper type career. Uh do y'all know of any way to preserve green stuff i'm filling gaps but i made a little too much ghosty asks i typically just put it in a ziploc bag um but i would still just try to use it soon it, it may not i don't think it lasts very long once you've got it uh, regina asks or says uh, i was just looking up the army painter speed paints and the mega set shows the koi dragon as an example on the color hexagon image oh you're kidding me that's so much fun wow yeah who is that that's uh dragon trappers dragon trappers yeah that's their uh kaiju collection yeah i loved painting that one twice three times Three times. You can see with this paint, it kind of pulls away from the paint itself. Uh, the, the, the brown, good lord, I could not think of the word. This tan color I have. So that's why I wanted to do like a really thin, crappy looking coat. 
because once that starts to dry, I can come back around and just basically get another layer going, and it'll look nice. Regina says, I kind of stalled out on mine. I've had a creative block and lack of focus lately. Well, this is how I operate generally. <laughs> you know, and and that being said, you're better off understanding, yes, I'm blocked. I'm not having fun with this. Setting it off to the side and walking away until it is something that you're like, oh, I want to paint this. I would love it. Blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to do a better job. You're going to be happier when you're doing it. If you, I mean, it's, it's a hobby. It's something that's supposed to bring you joy. And if you're not enjoying it, do something else. Ghost, you know, Ghosty has, has a hard question, question and it is a very hard, hard question. question. If, if you, you had, had to pick one of the designers you use, who's your favorite? No, <laughs> that's actually not something I can do because it, it is, I'm very much, I'm in this mood right now. So like it, it it's the same thing with food. Um, if I'm in the mood for pizza, pizza is my favorite food. If I'm in the mood for a hot dog, hot dogs are my favorite food. I, it's it's all about what I'm in the mood to paint. I think they all fill different gaps too, because that's what we yeah. we intentionally picked modelers that were very different. Yeah. From each other. Just so that we had a variety, because we like variety. Yeah. Um, I honestly can say that. The Koi Dragon was my favorite ever. And then I saw the cactus, and I am desperate to paint the cactus. And then I saw the jumping thing, the drone, and I'm desperate to paint that. So it, it's really not about the modeler themselves. I think occasionally I'll look at one and say, this is the best one this month. Yeah. Um it's really about what like, like makes a specific me model even right not yeah. not like this whole line but but it's like what makes me desperate to get the the paint out you know what in, it so it's basically what inspires me the most right here right now me too but not for painting no <laughs> he sees them and he's like oh and then a whole like line storyline goes off in his head so he's inspired to sit down and write this is why i'm the painter he's the dm um now i can say from a printer standpoint there are some differences so epic i love their models but pretty much i build all the supports for all their models uh lord of the print as far as the variety that he gives me for printing pretty damn near you know like wow love it i have models that are like tiamat i can print it with one head with five heads with four wings with two wings i can print it as a whole i can print it in pieces i can you know there's so many different options um he realistically looks at it like if you've got a printer big enough that you don't want to have to assemble this or you want to shrink it down so you don't have to assemble this, you can print it whole. Um, My Mini Monster is phenomenal with their supports. If I pull a model from them, put it on the build plate and slice it, it's ready to go. And I have no fear about it failing its print. Because, because they, they are, are very good, good about supporting. Uh, Dragon Trapper's Lodge is thorough with their supports. It's like, they're like, hey, this sucker ain't gonna fail. But then it's like, okay, I didn't really need that many supports. <laughs> That's a little overkill, honey. Um, so oh, maybe I, not for everybody, though. I mean, No, maybe not for everybody. But for my printers, it's overkill. So I end up supporting them myself. But... Their models are phenomenal. They're worth it. And I don't have to either. I have that option. Uh, that being said, Epic Moonishers, they do give supports. But they usually do. And it's pretty common where you'll get the file 
and then if it's like a new file you'll get the new file but it's not supported and then a couple of days later you'll get the supported file well by then i've already printed it a couple of times myself so um i really can't answer that question because there's way too many variables it's i don't even think that's lip service i think i think we were real picky when we pick yeah so that is kind of love them all so yeah well i mean that's a really good exam a good way of saying it because we've been talking about picking up a new sculptor and the reason we're delaying picking somebody up is because we're batting around who we're going to pick up we're we're extremely picky um so much so that i'll get a few models from each person that we're considering you know print what they gave me versus what i support with and then seeing how they turn out and seeing can I blow them up? Can I shrink them down? What are my options with this sort of stuff? So there's a whole lot of, of stuff that goes into it. Um, I tend to like monsters more than people. Um, are we still talking about minis? Min still minis, yes. Because for me, an oxalata was way more fun to paint than a character model. So... Epic Miniatures has a lot of character models, so they fill a lot of need and so many different NPCs and characters and everything else. That's awesome. I mean, but this guy's also epic. So, I mean, their sculpts are really fun. Um, but Lord of the Print pretty much is everything monster. So I tend to lean, lean toward more toward Lord of the Print just because there's more options there for me sometimes. Anyway, I hope that sort of helps. I doubt it does. I doubt that's actually the answer you were looking for. It's not that I won't. It's I can't. I really can't ta say right now, like, who's my favorite because, like, Mini Monster has all of these forest ones coming out, and everybody knows I'm a huge fan of trees, so... I'm going to lead toward them this month because of all of the trees. I, I, it's just too hard of a thing, but that is my base done other than making this not shiny, which is just a coat of uh, matte finish. And then the base is done and ready to have things glued on. Then we have the oxalotl. Let go, Mr. Krabby, Mr. Krabby Patty. He needs a few more touches to get him looking a little more albino. But other than that, I'm uh, pretty happy with him. And then we have three more crabs. And then so I will finish these guys up tomorrow and then start painting him. And let's see. Ghosty asks, are you pretty biased towards fantasy or would you be open to branching to more things? Like I love to buy modern soldiers and such. And so I buy a lot of them, which I think is a ton of fun. Would you be open to branching to that kind of genre or would you rather just stay to fantasy? Dark Inferno, was that was it a follow? Thank, I think it was yep. a follow. Thank, it it, it was. flashed across. Thank yep. you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Um, no, I would not be opposed to branching out at all. Um, and, and the modelers we have occasionally will throw in uh, yeah. sci-fi stuff. Last, just last month, uh, was it Epic? Or? No, it was Mini Monster Mayhem had the, um, the sci-fi guy. Yeah, the uh, Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Sci one of my actual, like, so we play D&D &D a lot, but one of our other you know second favorites not even really second favorite just one of our other favorite games is retroscape which is uh dark sci-fi so basically if it's dark and 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 scary and monstery we're in that is the the game that uh jake yes d uh, designs and develops is retroscape which is a post post apocalyptic world it's a lot of fun yeah i can't say it but no so i'm i'm not absolutely not opposed to um anything outside of i, I don't have to be in the fantasy realm whatsoever um it's just i lean towards horror well yeah i mean we we both kind of lean toward horror i it's funny because i'm like i love big scary monsters because they're so cute and cuddly <laughs> It's just how I feel about him because they're adorable. Like this guy, he's just he just needs a cuddle. 
I mean, he's just so cute. I love him. He's adorable. But no, uh, it, it's really that a lot of the the fantasy models are more popular. So that's what's more readily available. But one of the modelers that we're looking at seems to have a lot more of the... Um, I'm struggling to describe it, but like uh, kind of a uh, like the Deadland, yeah, Deathlands, whichever one. Is. I get the books mixed up with the role playing game, but the role playing game was sort of old west, Deadlands, uh, sort of world yeah. mixed in there with some that time period in the south sort of stuff too. Yeah. So, but it's I mean, like Regina has suggested a modeler to us, but it's not been one of that I've been able to pick up a, a merchant slot for. So, I mean, if you've got a modeler in mind that you'd like us to take a look at, you can drop them in Discord, and I, I absolutely oh, yeah. take a look at them and, and do some testing prints and stuff like that. But Ghosty says, big, scary monsters, big and cuddly. Feels contradictory. It depends. I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, no, if you, if you guys have a modeler that you'd like me to take a look at, just drop it into the 3D printing channel on Discord, and I will absolutely take a look at them. I'm happy to do that. I mean, don't get your heart broken if we don't choose them. But right. Well, like I said, <laughs> Regina's been wanting me to pick one up, but I Archvillain Games. Yeah, they haven't had a slot over They have not had a slot. But I did submit an application to be a commissioned painter for them. I don't know if they're going to reach out to me, but I'm hoping. I'm hopeful. Yeah, maybe they do, we can get a slot. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you don't have to pay me, just give me a damn slot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that is where we are going to call it, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to pick up a paintbrush, and it'll be five hours from now before I'm actually done. So this is that cactus troll dog. Looks real cuddly. He does. He's adorable. And he has a little flower. It's going to be so cute. Um, do you hang out with us tomorrow? Six, yes, guys, come back from Jabber.